All right, the fault shares features with the Hayward Fault. Meteorologist Darren Peck takes a look at what would happen if a similar quake hit here. There are some very important comparisons to today's 7.8 and the Bay Area's risk from earthquakes. The most notorious earthquake here was a 7.9 on a strike slip fault, which is exactly what today's was. Today's was a 7.8 on a strike slip fault. So what does our risk look like here at home in comparison to the images that we're seeing on screen today coming from Turkey? The USGS put together an explainer on this a few years ago, and they focused on the Hayward Fault, which is the more likely of any of the faults in the Bay to rupture. And the scenario that is most likely is somewhere around a 7.0. And if we watch the depiction here, you can see the energy emanating from a rupture, let's say, hypothetically, near Hayward at a 7.0 magnitude. The deeper the shade of red, the higher the degree of energy. Now, we've come a long way in terms of our ability to build with resilience for earthquakes of this magnitude. We would not be seeing anywhere near the amount of damage that we're seeing on our screens today. But there are some numbers that the USGS wanted to put out there as a potential for all of us to start thinking about. In that scenario, we could see as many as 800 deaths. There are already several thousand deaths being reported in Turkey, and that number is going up. We could also see as many as 18,000 people injured. So it's a day to take an opportunity and just remember what the risk is here at home.